Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at using images in iWork Pages. So you probably know that you can bring images into your Pages documents, but you may not know of all the different ways you can manipulate the images. Let's take a look. So there are a few ways to bring images into a Pages document. One is you can click on the Media button here and it will bring up audio photos and movies. Go to Photos and you can find something in your iPhoto collection. You can also simply drag and drop a image file from the Finder into Pages. Once you have an image you can click on it and then drag it around the screen. You can also grab the corners and left and right, top and bottom to change its size. So you can see here I can shrink it down uh, by grabbing any one of these. Now notice that it's going to use the opposite end as the drag point. So in other words if I drag it from here you can see it, the left side is kept steady. If I drag it from here the bottom left corner is going to be steady. If I hold the Option key down and drag it will do it by the center instead. And actually I can hold and release the Option key while dragging to either have it be the opposite side or the center. Now to rotate an image you simply hold the Command key down while over one of the drag points here and now you can rotate it around. And it will rotate around the center unless you also in addition to holding the Command key hold the Option key down and then it will rotate it around the opposite point from which you are dragging. And I will show you the amount of rotation in degrees there right on the screen. Now with an image selected you can do a lot of this also with the Inspector. Click on the Inspector button and then go to the Metrics tab there and you can see that you can set the size and you can set it specifically. So if you wanted something to be exactly 4 inches wide you could do it there. You can also turn off Constrained Proportions to distort something like that. And you can also click on Original Size to have it revert back to its original. You can then go and change its position exactly or rotate it using this down here. You can also set an exact angle of rotation. And this is also where you would say flip an image either horizontally or vertically. Now we can also use the inspector for some special effects. Click on the Graphics tab instead. And one of the things you can do here is set a border. So we can do a line and set a color and a style for the line and the size for it. You can also choose a special picture frame and choose from one of many different ones here. There's also the option to add a drop shadow, change lots of properties of the drop shadow itself. Or you could also go to Reflections and add this reflection that you see a lot used in Mac OS X. You can also change the opacity of the entire image to get semi transparent. Another thing you can do with the inspector is go to the wrap section and you can set how text wraps around the image. So you can have it uh, floating over everything or wrapping in line with the text. Uh, lots of different options here. Now say you want to crop the image. Well you do that by applying a mask. So go to Format and Mask with the image selected. And what will happen here is you get a rectangular area that you can change to only show a portion of the image. So we can just center in on the face here. I can move the image around and I could also zoom in or out uh, on the image right there. If I click Edit Mask it will just show that one portion there. And now I can return to actually moving the image around as before. Click on Edit Mask again and now I am actually adjusting the mask of the image. Now you can also mask with the shape. Go to Format Mask with Shape. Choose a shape say an oval here. And now we get the same basic options except instead of a rectangle we have got an oval. Now another way to do that is simply to create the shape first using the Shape command here from the top. Once you create the shape you can drag an image into it. And now you see you get that same Edit Mask uh, you know, a box right here and you can move it around and basically end up with the same thing you had doing it the other way. You can also align an image by using Control Click or Right Click and selecting Align Objects. And you can do left, center, right, middle, top, bottom. And if you have more than one object selected at a time you can do distribute objects as well. Now at this point I've got an image here. It was a large image. I've shrunk it down and I've also masked it out. So all you see is this part here. Now the entire original image is saved inside of the Pages document making the document perhaps pretty large. One of the things you can do to shrink the document size is to control click and select 
I'll bring this up here, reduce image file size. What will happen now is only the portion that you see is saved. So if I were to shrink down here, you can see I can't really see as much of the image as I could get to before. So I don't have uh, the option to go back and see the surrounding area around the lion. So you want to be careful when doing that, but when you're sure you're finished with an image, uh, reducing the image file size is a good idea. Now another thing you can do with your image that's outside of the inspector is you can bring up under view the show adjust image. And this brings up color adjustments, the same ones you might see in other Mac programs. So you can adjust the uh, brightness and contrast, uh, tint an image, do all sorts of different things, and uh, play with the color levels. So there are a lot of different ways to manipulate images in Pages. And those images are embedded in the Pages document. So you can send the document to somebody else or move it to another Mac without having to worry about those images just being linked to the external files. Hope you like this look at Images and Pages. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.